So, on Justin Watches Movies channel, we both reviewed the first Triple X. If you guys want to see that review before you see this one, if you aren't able to, you can go ahead and click on the thumbnail here on the screen. Five, four, three, two, one. With that out of the way, Justin and I are now going to be reviewing Triple X State of the Union here on my channel. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Triple X State of the Union. So Triple X State of the Union does not star Vin Diesel. The film now stars Ice Cube, Willem Dafoe, and Samuel L. Jackson. So Triple X State of the Union is about when Augustus Gibbons hires a new agent for the Triple X program and he hires Ice Cube who was this inmate from prison and now he's a new agent. And so now with Ice Cube who is known as Darius Stone now being the new Triple X agent, his mission is to go to Washington DC and track down this splinter that's part of the US military which could destroy the government and assassinate the president. So before I review Triple X State of the Union, Justin is going to be giving his thoughts on the film. So Justin, take it away. Hey everybody on 22 Tiger Dudes channel, this is Just Watching Movies here with his review of Triple X State of the Union which stars Ice Cube and this is the second movie in this Triple X franchise and this didn't have Vin Diesel in it and I'd never seen this movie just till like a couple weeks ago. I really didn't know what to expect from it. I remember watching Triple X a while ago when I was a kid and then not watching this one because I had no interest in it so I was going into it with an open mind and this was an, just a really average, forgettable film that really served nothing for me. I recently sat down and watched the Triple X movie and I really liked it. It's a lot of fun. And, and this movie took itself way too seriously. It tried to be a spy thriller minus the fun tone that the previous movie had set up. It was just like a bunch of crazy stunts. And this one had some stunts in it, but it just felt very bland, forgettable and it didn't have anything truly exciting going for it. So the tone set up for a State of the Union is very like action thriller-ish and when they get to some fun moments it does seem a bit awkward because the tone is very different previously. So when they get to those fun moments I'm not embracing them, I'm not having fun with it because the whole rest of the movie is just not a lot of fun. It's way too serious. Ice Cube I don't think is the perfect pick for this character. Xander Cage was just absolutely crazy and it made the whole movie fun. Ice Cube is way too serious and it makes this movie really boring. I thought the movie looked really nice and it had potential to be a lot of fun but I think if they picked someone else to be this character, Darius Stone, it would have been a lot more fun and the tone was just way too serious. It wanted to be an action thriller, uh, like a typical action film that just was not fun. I just wanted so I just wanted much more from this film and I just caught myself bored throughout. So I'm going to go ahead and give Triple X State of the Union a C minus. I like to thank 22 Tiger Dude for allowing me to be on his channel once again to discuss Triple X State of the Union in preparation for Triple X Return of Xander Cage. 22 Tiger Dude's got it, I got it, and that is Tiger Power! Thank you so much, Justin, for reviewing Triple X Day of the Union. Now, if you guys saw the Triple X review that I did with Justin over on his channel, you know that Triple X is a huge guilty pleasure for me. It's definitely one of the biggest guilty pleasures out there. It was so stupid, but it was so much fun. And it is so self-aware of the kind of film that it is. It never took itself seriously. And Triple X State of the Union, wow. Talk about a huge slap in the face to the original. This film is terrible. And I am just so baffled by this. I was so angry watching this movie because I couldn't believe how serious it took itself. 
Okay, so the first 25 minutes, this film actually delivered everything that made the original so bad that it was good. It was a guilty pleasure. The first 25 minutes of this film, I was so on board with because it was so stupid, it was so ludicrous, but it was so much fun. And then after the first 25 minutes of Triple X State of the Union, that's when this film started to get really dramatic. That's when this film had no fun and there were barely any over the top moments to go in the film. Now granted, Ice Cube as Darius Stone, I did really like him. I personally just like Ice Cube in general as an actor. He definitely looked like he was having fun with his role. Samuel Jackson, not in this film that much, but he was still really good as Augustus Gibbons, just like with the original Triple X. You have Toby the Gadget Guy. Which, uh, to his credit, I will say he wasn't as creepy in a sexual way like he was in the first film, but he's still a character I didn't really care too much for. The actor was pretty good, just the character was just like whatever to me. Willem Dafoe actually does add a nice screen presence to the film. The action scenes, although there's not really a whole lot of them, the first film is definitely more action packed, but the action when it is there, it is very fun. It has a few over the top moments. There's one moment in the climax and this moment is the ending to the climax that was so over the top. I was laughing so hard. It was just so bad, it was funny. If only the rest of Triple X Day Union was like that. I couldn't believe how poorly written the storyline was for this film. Like this had a really bad storyline with really bad execution of it because we're getting to the storyline with the US government, which you don't care about. A lot of the acting in this film is just so bad. Like there's this friend that Ice Cube used to work with apparently that he hasn't seen in years and I didn't really care for her. She was just so wooden and so lifeless and that's the best way to describe Triple X State of the Union. This is a completely shallow lifeless movie. Some movies you could have a more serious tone and it could work but for a Triple X movie when you become more serious and more dramatic it really doesn't work in my opinion and I have to say the direction to this film it's not badly directed I'll say that but it's definitely not directed in the more energetic fashion like Rob Cohen's direction was for the first film some of the action scenes especially towards the end even though they're well filmed and all they don't really have the excitement factor that the action scenes in the original have. Just because the film took so long to get to the next action sequence that by the time action is happening, you're not really all that thrilled to be honest. A few moments could happen when you are, but a lot of it really isn't so thrilling. It's such a boring movie. And I was yawning so many times during this film. This film just had no idea what it really wanted to be. And even when you get to some of the more stupid over the top dialogue, even that doesn't work. That didn't have the execution that the first Triple X had. I really did hate Triple X State of the Union. This is not how a Triple X sequel should be. Even with Ice Cube taking Vin Diesel's spot in this film, there's potential for there, for there to be another guilty pleasure film. And for the first 25 minutes, it succeeds at that. But after that first 25 minutes, it just becomes a terribly written, terribly executed movie with lifeless and boring moments to it. So because of that, I'm gonna give Triple X Stay of the Union one and a half out of four stars, which would be a D plus on the Justin Watches Movies Layer Grade. I gave a layer grade and the Triple X review on his channel, so might as well give a layer grade here on my channel. Yeah, it's a it's really terrible. So you guys in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Triple X State of the Union and what you think about Triple X. And I would also love to thank Justin for being here on my channel to review Triple X State of the Union. And I wanna thank him for having me on his channel to review Triple X. And if you guys wanna check out Justin Watch's movies review for Triple X Return of Xander Cage, just to see what he thought of the film, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description 
description down below and you can go ahead and click on the thumbnail in the screen as well. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.